This video showcases how to properly lubricate the AFG2 gyratory compactor. You will need a grease gun with a 45 degree end, a 7 16 inch socket and ratchet or nut driver, a 5 16 inch socket and ratchet or nut driver, scotch Bright degreaser solution, anti-seize, and paper towels or rags. Begin by using the ratchet and 7 16 inch socket or 7 16 inch nut driver to remove the left and right side actuator covers. Using the grease gun, grease the two grease fittings on each actuator. You only need two pumps of grease for each fitting. Do not over grease this area. Once this is done, replace the covers and screws. Next, you will remove the ball screw bearing cover on the lower left side of the machine using the 5 16 nut driver. Due to the location of the ball screw bearing, it is necessary to have a 45 degree adapter on the end of your grease gun. Grease the fitting with two pumps, then replace the cover. Cleaning and greasing the actuator and ball screw bearings should be done every 100 hours of machine time or every 12 months, whichever comes first. Next, you will need to lubricate the ram foot. It is very important that the ram foot is clean before applying a fresh coat of anti-seize. Using rags in a degreasing solution, clean the ram foot. For any stubborn debris, utilize a piece of Scotch-Brite to thoroughly clean and remove any dried anti-seize. Then apply a fresh coat of anti-seize to the ram foot top surface on the outside of the four cap screws. It is not necessary to lubricate the center of the ram foot surface, only around the four cap screws on the outside of the ram foot. The ram foot should be cleaned and greased daily. Then remove the clamp handles individually, one at a time. Clean all dried anti-seize from between the handle and the brass washers and shims. Pay close attention to the order of the brass washers and shims when removing them. Apply a light coating of anti-seize in between the handles of each brass washer and shim as well as the machine threads. Reinstall in the machine. Lubricate as necessary when the handles get hard to loosen. Clean any excess anti-seize remaining on the mold top clamp handles. Your machine has been lubricated. Remember, routine cleaning and lubricating will keep your gyratory compactor running optimally, provide you with more accurate test results, and extend the life of your machine. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you need any further assistance or have questions, please call Pine Test Equipment or visit our website. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more instructional videos regarding your Pine gyratory equipment.